I teach leaders to overtrain their teams. What happens when they don't? Well, I tried to update my uncle's cell phone. I'll show you what happened to me in a Verizon store on the West Coast a couple weeks ago. Yeah, how is your service better than AT&T? Well, like I said, we have more towers, so we have access to XLTE also. What is that? Well, it's the best service possible that you can get. XLTE, what does that stand for? I do not know. If you didn't hear that, he said, I, I do not know. Look, uh, my uncle doesn't know. Uh, I don't know. He needs to know. You, you need to be world class. You've got two kinds of customers. You've got a customer coming in there that is so time starved and stressed because of the time we live in, and they want you to figure it all out for them. Then you've got the customer that's done so much homework and is so smart because they can search everything. They come in like it's a court of law, and they want to hammer you for the best deal. Either way, you need to be world class. Now, I wasn't going to let this go. I, I, I thought maybe the kid just got scared or maybe he wasn't trained properly. So the next question to him was, well, what do you think about Verizon? Do you like Verizon? He said this. Anything else you want to say about working for Verizon? It's awesome. Cool. <laughs> he said it was awesome. Okay, look, you can teach your employees a lot of things. You can teach them what to say. You can train them. But what he came in the door with was character. He was honest. And for that reason alone, I bought the phone from him. There's my uncle. There's this new iPhone 5S. I know, it's adorable, isn't it? And there's little strawberries and the bottle of prescription Jack Daniels. I'm not sure if that's... <laughs> He's 86. Knock yourself out. World-class expertise is your unfair advantage. That's just a fancy way of saying, be great at what you do, and you're going to win those customers every day.